What's going on guys? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today guys, we are back with episode number 53 of our Payer Stay series. Guys, we have a very interesting episode for you today. We have the mixed hide top going up against the fighter torso. This idea was suggested to me by Too Small Paul, as some of you may know. I did work with him in the past on a previous video, and there's actually a very good reason why this comparison caught my attention. But before we get into it, guys, if you do enjoy this series and want to see more, please be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know in the comments section which comparison you guys would want to see next that being said guys let's hop right into the comparison so guys starting with the mixed hide top there is a 60 range and 50 defense requirement the most important factor here however is the offense and in this case it provides a four stab accuracy bonus and a strength bonus of two it is very affordable at around 20,000 gp and it is non-degradable Moving on to the fighter torso, it has a lower defense requirement of 40, and it is widely considered to be the alternative to the Bandos chest plate. It has no accuracy bonuses, however, it has double the strength bonus at plus 4. It does not have a monetary cost, however, on average, you can expect to spend 4 hours at Barbarian Assault minigame to get the fighter torso, and it is non degradable. And here is the full comparison between the two tops. As you can see, offensively, the mixed hide top does come out on top with its stab bonus and its range bonus in case you want a hybrid however defensively the fighter torso does come out on top and it does have double the strength bonus however because we are training in the nightmare zone and we are using absorption potions defense bonuses will not actually matter so it will be very interesting to see whether the four accuracy bonus does complement the two strength bonus of the mixed hide top and whether it can beat out the fighter torso when we are using a stab weapon and in this case guys we are going with a stab weapon we are using the osmompton fang to take full advantage of the mixed side top accuracy bonuses with the comparison out of the way guys let's hop right into the nightmare zone and guys we will be starting with the mixed high top i'll see you guys after 30 minutes one hour later and guys there goes the timer for the mixed hide top it did pretty well on its own i'm pretty pleased with the results but with that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the fighter torso and i'll see you guys after another 30 minutes one eternity later and guys there goes the timer for the fighter torso i'm gonna go ahead and make some final calculations and i'll see you guys for the final recap Guys, before we get started, I do want to give a quick shout out to Creator Crafted. And while this is not a sponsorship by any means, they did provide a discount code using the link in the description. And you guys can get some amazing plushies, LED signs, and mouse pads, which are all RuneScape themed. They make some really amazing products. And by using the link in the description, guys, not only can you get a nice little discount, but it will go a long way in supporting the channel directly as well. So be sure to check it out. I'll once again leave the links in the description. And thank you guys. As as always for helping support the channel with that being said guys let's hop right into the final recap guys i did put up the starting and ending xp for both gear items starting with the mixed hide top we did get an xp rate of around 80,000 attack xp an hour and this is with a stab weapon as a result from 93 to 99 it would take me about 73 hours moving on to the fighter torso we did get a elevated rate of 84,000 attack xp an hour an exact five percent increase from the mixed hide top it would take me four less hours at 69 hours to get to 99 attack and because there is no monetary cost to the fighter torso there is no upgrade cost for this video now guys as i mentioned earlier in this video it would take on average four hours to get your fighter torso and based off this comparison you would save four hours by using the fighter torso over the mixed hide top and one might argue that this might be a tie however given that the cost of the mixed hide top is only 20,000 gp i'm gonna go ahead and say the verdict for this episode is gonna be stay now i'm not saying do not get the fighter torso by no means am i saying that if you guys do want to do higher level pvm and cannot afford a bandos chest plate you must have a fighter torso so don't think i'm neglecting the fighter torso at all but in this case for training xp at the nightmare zone the mixed hide top is a better bang for your buck and you still get some good xp rates with a stab weapon and yeah guys that does bring us to the end of this video if you guys did enjoy this one please be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know in the comments section what comparison you guys would want to see next i hope you guys take good care of yourselves and until next time guys peace